Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Can you believe it's already March? In fact, today is the very first of March and we are five weeks away from Easter. And so for the next five weeks, uh, we're gonna be focusing on Easter, getting ready for Easter personally, spiritually, uh, as we walk through this season of expectation, a season of hope, a season of remembering Jesus' sacrifice for us and his resurrection from the dead. And, uh, and as we prepare for this, I, can I challenge you to do a couple of things? Uh, one is just join us for Word for the Day each, each day and let this be a time uh, of meditation, a time that draws you to think about Easter, about the cross and about the empty tomb. Uh, and then secondly, uh, for these 35 days, can I challenge you to give up something I know some of you were Catholic uh, in your previous days uh, spiritually, and so you're, you're familiar with the idea of Lent. But uh, here's the way I like to think about it. If, if you sacrifice something that you care about for the next 35 days, uh, every time you want that, every time you think about that, uh, hopefully it will remind you of the sacrifice that Jesus made on your behalf. Uh, and now, when I say sacrifice, I mean, maybe it's something that you eat. Now, a sacrifice for me would not be, you know, Brussels sprouts, because I don't like them anyway. But a sacrifice for me would be sweets. So if I say I'm not going to have any sweets for the next 35 days, that's a sacrifice. Or maybe it's uh, television. You just say I'm giving up television for 35 days, or I'm going to uh, not play my computer game for 35 days. Well, you know, something that you value that, uh, that you're gonna miss. Uh, again, that's what a sacrifice is. And, and it's meant not to, to prove that you're holy or make you more spiritual. It's just to remind you of Jesus and his sacrifice for us. Now, the word for the day is we're gonna start off, you're gonna hear from the pastors uh, talking about what Easter means to them, what they think of when they think of Easter. So uh, I get to go first and, and I have two thoughts. First of all, when I think of Easter, uh, I think of the incredible love that was demonstrated by Jesus on the cross. Uh, I think of Romans 5, 8, where the apostle Paul said, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. I, I think about the, the passage in 1 John where the apostle John says, this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Uh, the second thought that I have when I think about Easter is victory. Just the awesome victory of the resurrection. The fact that the empty tomb declares the complete and utter triumph of Jesus over sin and death and hell and, and removes that fear from us who are followers of Jesus Christ. So uh, when I think about Easter, I think about the love of God and I think about the victory of Jesus. And, and my hope and prayer for you today is that you know that God loves you because he demonstrated that love on the cross and that you're living in the victory, the certainty that Jesus' victory was eternal, it was complete, and it's ours because we belong to him. In other words, you can't lose. No matter what happens to you in this world, you're still gonna win because of Jesus. I hope that encourages you and I hope that you start looking to that day of sorrow and celebration that is Good Friday and Easter uh, morning uh, because God has won the victory. God bless. Have a great, great day.